Hello everyone, welcome to our listing at 192 Pendergast Road. We're in the town of Granby, just outside of Phoenix. Phoenix is that way down Pendergast Road. And here is the lay of the land and who or who not <laughs> are not your neighbors. You can see that it's pretty quiet around this house. What we have here is a 2,750 square foot split level. Now this is a distressed property and it has to be purchased through a short sale, which I'll explain in just a second what that means. It does appear that we have a newer roof on here and we are gonna go inside in just a moment. We're gonna go around the back, take a look, and then we'll head inside. All right, what looks like is they converted this garage into living area, that's vinyl siding on there. We've got stonework on a lot of the exterior of the house. So you can see we've got some chip paint here that needs to be scraped and painted or replaced with vinyl windows. We've got big, beautiful tree, uh, mature trees here in the back. We also have what looks like a, well, a shed, more so than it is a garage. And we've got aluminum siding. This house was built in 1973. And there's the lay of the land. Got a dug well right there. Back of the roof here appears that it's been compromised, but they got plastic on it right now. Keep the water out. All right, let's go ahead. I just came through the back door, and this was once the two-car garage. Like I say, it's being used, or was being used as living area. Just kind of back up here so you can see it. It's got concrete floor, obviously, with rug over it. And you could convert it back to a two-car garage if you'd like. As you can see, the floor covering here needs to be replaced. This looks like where your laundry room was. We'll go explore down here first before we go anywhere else. Lots of rooms in this house. Okay, so you've got one bedroom here. You've got an, well, what looks like a sump pump, maybe a utility area. Or a bedroom, if you wanted. Again, all the floor covering would need to be replaced. The cabinets are older. They're intact. They could be continued to be utilized, replacing the uh, countertop if you so choose. A lot of cleaning and painting. Just leaving now the dining area and we're in the living room where we have a, is that, is that gas or is that, uh, looks like there was regular, looks like they've got a gas, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. They've got some logs in there that make it appear like they're concrete logs that you'd put in a gas uh, insert. However, it does appear that this is uh, a wood burning uh, fireplace. All right, let's head upstairs. All right, so now we're going into the bedroom. Okay, as you can see that there's lacking floor covering in each of the rooms. We got a cedar closet here. Master bathroom. Again, see it's older, you know, the older tile. So there's an extensive amount of remodeling that needs to be done to this house. All right, let's go take a look at the cellar and then we'll conclude our Okay, our tour. we're going down the cellar and it is not a pretty sight down here because it's moist. Now we've had a lot of rainfall 
and there's no electricity inside this house. So we're seeing the worst of it right now and it just seems like there is some evidence of moisture and wet. The furnace has been removed and we've got PVC, we've got uh, any copper plumbing left. You know that's vogue today to see a lot of the copper plumbing removed. Okay, we've got some copper, pl copper plumbing that is there and intact, very good. So once we get the sump pump running, um, I'm trying to see where, oh, right there, okay. Then there should be uh, at least uh, uh, one guard against uh, having this problem down here. Uh, also too, it does have public water, I just noticed, so the well is no longer being used and it is a septic system. And we do have circuit breakers. Okay, with a uh, 200 amp service. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by 192 Pendergast Road. And in order to get into this house and take a look at it yourself and to put an offer and contact your real estate professional. And you folks have a great day.